This simulation run demonstrates how to handle a ship to berth alongside a key, in a condition of strong onshore wind with the deployment of the offshore anchor. The previous scenarios number 4 and 5 have exposed a risk that strong wind can push a ship moving sideways at so high speed that neither the ship nor the fenders can be suffered. One of the solutions is using an offshore anchor to control the speed of the ship in wind. The objective of this scenario is to use rudders and engines in combination with the offshore anchor and the benefit of the wind to gently bring the vessel laterally and parallel with the key. First, let review the principle on how to control the forces of an anchor, propeller thrusts, and rudder effects against the wind. In general, a vessel with windage area forward tends to stern bore into the wind. The vessel with windage area above tends to run across the wind, and the vessel with windage area amidships tends to lie across the wind. In the wind, if deploying an offshore anchor, the anchor will hold the bow of the ship against the wind. As a principle, the stern will turn to the leeward side. To stop this turning, apply rudder to leeward and engines ahead, the transversal thrust of the rudder will hold the stern against the wind. If applying a dredging anchor in combination with proper rudder and engines, the forces can be controlled to move sideways. When the anchor is at the desired position, pay out the anchor cable at a suitable speed, in combination with proper applying rudder angle with engines ahead. The lateral speed of the ship can be controlled. In this way, the ship can be handled to approach parallel with the berth. Maneuvering steps. This maneuvering can also be divided into four basic steps. Step 1. Approach the berth at an angle of about 60 degrees. Stop the vessel off the berth with the bow level about the center of the berth position. Step 2. Let go offshore anchor at a short stay. To control the stern against the wind, apply rudder to port. It means the leeward and engines ahead. Then anchor is dredged towards the berth. Step 3. When the vessel approaches the berth, pay out the anchor cable. As the bow is just off the berth, hold on to the anchor. The vessel will pivot at the hawse pipe and the stern will swing towards the key. To reduce the approach speed of the stern, apply engines ahead with the rudder hard to port. Step 4. As the stern is approaching the key, stop engines and run lines ashore fore and aft. Once the vessel is secured alongside, the anchor cable would be walked back to the up and down position to avoid the anchor cable as an obstruction, impeding the movement of other traffic. In this scenario, the model is a row-row car carrier. Her length is 200 meters, breadth is 36.5 meters and draft is 10 meters. The ship is fully loaded and fixed with a single right-handed propeller. The wind direction is 90 degrees with a speed of 20 knots. The video speed is set five times faster than in the real time.
after the vessel is secured alongside, do not leave the anchor cable stretched outwards. It is normal practice that the anchor cable would be walked back to the up and down position to avoid it is an obstruction impeding the movement of other traffic. To avoid the risks due to the uncertainty in holding of anchor, or insufficiency of the transversal thrust of the rudder in a strong wind, tug assistance would be considered to apply. This video is just a maneuvering scenario, run and simulation for a sample ship model. In practice, each ship or her loading condition has different maneuverability. Thus, it is necessary to adjust the time taken steps and apply the propellers, the rudders, and anchor properly to obtain the best maneuvering performance. All comments from experienced navigators or experts to improve the performance are appreciated.